It's tea time, positive tea time, and we are spilling all of it right here in this space created by two crazy fun-loving besties. It's a no-judgment zone for sharing stories of hope, faith, love, growth, and most of all, grace and gratitude. So join us as we get ready to share some positivity and get a fresh perspective on life. And welcome to another episode of Spilling the Positivity brought to you by our series sponsor, which is Tetley. We are very excited about them. And we also have McVitie's Rich Tea Biscuits. They're on board today for this special episode. And this episode is great. We cannot wait to get into it. Maria, let us tell them about our wonderful guest oh, right here. Wonderful guest today is phenomenal woman, extraordinary mother, Tracy Knight. Welcome, yeah. Tracy. Welcome, Tracy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you Happy to be here. Oh, Love some tea. Yes. yes. So tell us a little bit about yourself, and then let's talk about this journey that you've been on. Well, who's Tracy? Tracy, easygoing, likes to laugh, likes a good line. Simple. Simple. In my Simple and amazing. Simple. Yes. <laughs> Thank, you. Amazing. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you. In my professional life, I work for Sagicor. I'm the Vice President of Customer Experience and Sales Strategy. Mm -hmm. And in my service life, I'm President-elect for Rotary Club of Barbados. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So that's... I'll something. have some tea to that. Yes, yes, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. So tell us about your wonderful son, Ade. Ade is... Ade is, as I say, he's amazing. He's a, he's a wonderful child. Um, he likes to do outdoor activities. He's very outdoorsy. He likes hiking, kayaking, swimming, horseback riding, mm -hmm. anything that makes my heart go. <laughs> <laughs> He's there. And I am right alongside there with him when I can. Um, when I can, I have friends and family who will do the jumping off boats, swimming the reefs with him. So mm -hmm. that's, that works out. So, um, Ade, Ade lives a good life. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, he's happy. Mm -hmm. um, he likes structure, so he likes to know what's happening next, what's happening from day to day, what's happening within the day. And what makes Ade so special, we tell our viewers, mm -hmm. is that he's living with autism. Yes. yes. What does that mean? What does it mean? Living with autism means a number of different things for a number of different people because mm -hmm. autism is a spectrum. It's okay. called autism spectrum disorder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a person living with autism may present with a number of, a number of um, conditions. So you may have limited social skills. Okay. So what that manifests in terms of play, in terms of how children play. Sometimes they play what we call parallel play. So right. a group of kids may be over here playing and they're playing by themselves. They may not play with each other. Yeah. How they interact with each other, with other people and so forth. Communication mm. can also be an issue in that some some people living with autism are actually nonverbal, mm -hmm. and some some persons are verbal. And then there are some who like Ade, who he, he he talks, but he doesn't like to. Okay. So they have limited verbal ability. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes a lot of a lot of children with autism as well also have gastrointestinal issues. Oh, okay. So a lot of wow. there's a lot of there's a belief there's a theory out there that autism is really a disease of the gut. Ah, and so oh, there are okay. a lot of persons who believe that if you heal the gut. Mm -hmm. You can manage the autism better. Mm -hmm. So you would find that there are some children with autism are very picky eaters mm -hmm. and their diet is very limited, very restrictive. Um, and some children may have a lot of food allergies and so forth. Okay, okay. So like Ade, he's oh. on a gluten-free diet. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Right? And then there's sensory issues. Mm. So some children touch, taste, you know, as when Addy was growing up, you know, those outdoor mats that are kind of prickly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He never liked to step on them. Okay. So up to this day, he spawns it. Yeah. So right. he doesn't like certain textures, Texture. certain things on his skin. It's because it's, it's extra it's sensitive. Right. Certain right. things on his skin. You know, when he was growing up, getting his hair cut was a whole big production episode, meltdown. Wow. Wow. He did not like that. But over time, he's become desensitized to right. that, the mm -hmm. buzzing of right. the machine. Okay. Because their, sense, their senses are like heightened. heightened yeah. Exactly. Okay. So sometimes, you know, when a, a child with autism who has sensory issues walks into a room, everything comes at them. They don't, mm -hmm. they don't always filter out. Oh, wow. So okay. they may see the fan, the light, everything is just magnified for them. for them. Yeah. yeah. So whereas mm -hmm. we can filter out and we say, well, that light is over there, that fan is over there. 
sometimes children with autism, everything comes at them in one jolt. So mm -hmm. with occupational therapy and over time, that can be minimized. Okay. So that's how, that's what you can, and, and regrettably, some children with autism suffer with seizures as well. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Luckily for me, Ade's never had that. Mm -hmm. But those are some of the things that you can experience with a child on the autism. spectrum. Right. Some, right. some kids will need more support than others. Mm -hmm. some, some, some kids need more support. Others don't need as much. How so. old is Ade now? Ade is 16. Well, you have wow, a 16 year old. I have a 16 year old. I have a teenager on my head. Yeah. Yes, I do. I so, do. what was that period of from the pregnancy going through to maybe toddler? What was that period like for you? I think, well, my pregnancy was difficult because I had preeclampsia. So, I spent a lot of time on bed rest in the hospital. Mm -hmm. wow. um, and labor was okay, bringing him home, everything. He was all right. But then I noticed the early signs of like flapping, um, not talking, you know, being a good baby, you know, he would sit there by himself and he would be fine. I was like, whoa, he's a really good baby. Mm -hmm. Playing with egg cups, even though he had a room full of toys. So yeah. those are the early things. But those early years were also, I would say, the most emotionally difficult. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm coming to grips with the diagnosis, which is very difficult. In fact, people liken an autism diagnosis to one of grief, where you go through the whole stages wow. of denial, anger, okay. blame, you know, they say And you it's experienced like that. all of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there was a point in time in my life where I cried every night. Wow. I mean, yeah, I cried a lot at night because I didn't know if he would talk. I didn't know what kind of life he would have. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I didn't know if I was doing the right thing with the different mm -hmm. therapies because, you know, you know start the therapies and you don't know if he's going to be able to dress himself because that's all those things we had to do therapy for. Would he be able to dress himself yeah. and all that? And the research is now, like, now yes, at yeah, that time coming out, out and exactly. people are now acknowledging it more. Exactly. Right? Yeah. And so, so, you know, because some people don't get it. They think it's just a bad behaved child or what have you. Mm -hmm. So those, those early years were difficult. But I must say that I was glad that I stood by my convictions to yes. have as much early intervention as possible. That and mother's pour into intuition. Him. Yeah. And that's kudos to you for doing yes, that. Yes, definitely. Yeah. You definitely. have to. I, I tell moms, you know, it's a window of opportunity when you get the diagnosis, find out what, what, because every child is different, what type of treatment will make your child have a good quality of life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm and where you can afford it, because it's not cheap, mm -hmm. where you can afford it, just try to get in those sessions and do what you have. Yeah. And a lot of it you have to do on your own as mm -hmm. well, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. You can't expect the therapists and the teachers to do everything. Mm -hmm. So right. you have to do things on your own. Mm -hmm. um, I remember I used to sing to Ade every morning in the car, just so, because you want to, he's not talking, but you want to immerse him in a language rich mm -hmm. environment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, so you're yeah. talking to him. So even though today I'm like, I talk to him, this child's probably sitting there, she's just always talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I talk to him, I used to sing to him, and you know, you put him in your lap and you do the actions for all the action songs and everything. We did, I, we did a lot of workshops, and I was really blessed that. When I did the workshops, I could include my entire family. Oh, so fantastic. Like, like we did a workshop called More Than Words, and the therapist came home, and um, even speech, the other speech therapist, Sharika, she came home, and she said, this is how we have to model. This is how we're going to work with Ade. So between my mom's house and my aunt's house, where he spends time, mm -hmm. everybody did the same thing. So everybody knew this is the course of action we're doing. This is how we get Ade. We're not, his snacks are not going to be accessible. He has to come and ask. So right. we're promoting language as much as possible. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it was it was a lot of it's stuff. A journey. To do. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of but stuff you had to do. A lot of support too. So yes. I did. I did. I did. And I think, you know, it's nothing to be ashamed of. It's nothing to hide. And you know, when you start talking about it, you get support. My family is very supportive. I said, I knew I came from a loving family, but with idea was like wow my family is amazing mm -hmm. yeah my mm -hmm. relatives my sister my my cousins overseas you know everybody just helps mm -hmm. um in, in their camp. that is a blessing it blessing. is it is and i think it also allowed me in another way when i look at it because like in the early days you know you're a junior you can't be taking time off to work take your child here and there yeah. my dad did all those runs wow you wow. know yeah yeah mm -hmm. Daddy, you're a boss. Yes. yes. <laughs> My dad, he did all those runs. And sometimes the therapist would say, oh, I want to change Addis. And I was like, no. She said, it's all right. Granddad said, it's okay. He'll bring it. Oh, I'm like, okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah, yeah. that's so amazing. I, I, I did, and even at work. So sometimes people will call and say, 
Tracy to go a documentary on CNN on autism, you mm -hmm. know? Yes, yes. Or call us both at when it was at Cave Shepherd and Saja Kaur. And did you see this article, you know? And, you know, I, everybody, it, it, I do have a lot of support, and I think Ade is really rewarded by that. There are places we go, if I go by myself, they're like, we're Ade. Ade. Yes. <laughs> we're Ade. Or people come and say, I see Ade hiking, I see Ade somewhere. Mm -hmm. Like, all right, all right, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of support, but I've never hidden. You know, I yes. said, this is my son. This is Which who is we amazing. are. And I've never been ashamed of it. Yeah. You know. Nothing to be ashamed it's of. It's nothing, no, because yeah. it, it's something, it just happened. And we've come a long way in Barbados because mm -hmm. there were times, and in the world really, because yes. there were times where people would, kids who had any sort of differences or, you know, yeah. challenges would be hidden, hidden away. away. Yeah. No, yeah. no. And look, you know, look at how times have changed and, and Ade is doing, has pulling you, you out of your comfort, comfort zone. zone. Yes. Making you go swimming and And, 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 and also at right I said that, I'd be like, <laughs> no. And I would be, I would not sit here and say they're not, there are days when I don't say, but God, why me? Mm -hmm. Why God deal with all of this? And then sometimes when, you know, but when we're having a really good day, I say, well, why not me? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Why not me? This is, yeah. this is, this is my blessing. Yeah. And it's inspired me to be bold and advocate for him and, you know, to be strong in what I believe. I think mm -hmm. one of those things, it really taught me to follow my mother's intuition. Yeah. Yes. As well. Critical. I sensed that something was not off. I got him there. I did what I had to do and had the support of my family and. So Tracy, mm -hmm. you're doing so much and you are, you have a full life. How are you decompressing? What does self-care look like for you? Well, you know, there's a famous quote, I can't remember it exactly, but it's by Audre Lorde, where she says, self-preservation is an act of warfare. Oh, <laughs> very true. Yes. Oh, I can't remember all of it. The sentiment is you really have to fight for it. Mm -hmm. And I think you have to be emotionally aware to know when you've yes. had enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think two main components of self-care, I think people would expect me to say spa and all that, mm -hmm. but the two main components of self-care that I've found that work for me is setting boundaries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Big and also that. not requiring external validation. Oh, my right. gosh. Right? Can we have so, some tea to yeah. that? We're going to sit some tea to that. Okay. that. That is, those are two gems, guys, that you need to take away. Yeah. Setting boundaries mm -hmm. and not looking for external mm -hmm. validation. Mm -hmm. Woo. Something that I work on um, because everybody can't have all of you and you have to be able to say no. You know, like even in my grocery journey, there were, we do a lot of service on Saturdays and those were the days that I would be at therapy or hard spot writing with mm -hmm. Ade, so I couldn't do everything. Mm -hmm. And you know, you have to appreciate that for yourself rather yes. than right. feeling guilty. I can't say yes to that. Yes, Because yeah. this is what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I'm right. not, it's, it's not a priority. It, yeah, it's part of his development. So I think those are, those are so many things, setting boundaries, watching people who may be too negative in your circle. Oh, yes. Yes. Cutting, uh, that out. Cutting, that cutting that out. out. And, and people who don't show up, knowing mm -hmm. who shows up and who doesn't. Yeah, and, and who, who has access to you, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. How much time you spend with them yes. and so forth. And then requiring external validation is like, listen, this is who I am. This is what I do. This is me. This is me. Mm -hmm. And not worrying about Oh, who she thinks she is, or yeah. she thinks she's this. Yeah, I is this. Yes, I'm yes. all and of that. Own it. <laughs> right, you. Know. Right, you. Know. This, Absolutely. I, this is it. This yeah. is me, and this is who I am. And your opinion of me is none, none of my maybe. business. Oh. That is none of my concerns. Yes. And those, those are the two things that I've learned, and that self care, on a more practical day-to-day -day level, I like soaking, as Ade calls it. Mommy is soaking. <laughs> <laughs> so he knows when you're taking time. Yeah, that's another thing. I've, 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 we have this thing at home called quiet time. And his quiet time, he knows as no gadgets. That's the, that's the wind-down period before bedtime. Mm -hmm. And he's supposed to be reading or doing a puzzle or something like that. It's no gadgets. Mm -hmm. So when I am saying, I say, well, no, it's mommy's quiet time. He says, mommy's quiet time. So he knows, okay. Mommy's in her room. She wants to be left alone. She's probably going to be soaking. So, mm -hmm. I and soaking I, I, is your in a tub. Mm -hmm. Yes, 
Epsom salts, <laughs> lavender oil. <laughs> That's fancy. Yeah. That's but fancy though. God, when I'm in there, I feel like I'm at Sandy Lane's yeah. like, oh, I even have a little tub pillow. Yes. You know, I like my candles. Yes. I, love, I do yes. this, I do this. You know, I may play music and yeah, I'm good. Fantastic. But that brings me down. I love to read. Yeah. I have to read every night before bed. Mm. And, I, and the truth is, right? I don't be reading. I, I mean, I might read the Atlantic and the Economist or Harvard mm -hmm. Business Review, whatever. But you see, at night, I am reading trash. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. I am reading. Yes. I am reading historical romances. Yes. I'm reading yes. Beverly Jenkins. I'm but reading Brenda Jackson. It's when I say, you know, people call yeah. it trash, but I'm, re I'm reading romance novels. Yes. And I am just taking away. Taken away. Oh, exactly. Right. Exactly. You know, but However you deal with your self-care yeah. is it's beautiful. Exactly, yeah. And then the other thing that came to me the other day, too, I said, you know, your name is Tracy Knight. You, you're called Tracy Knight for a reason. Mm -hmm. I said, because you are your own knight in shining yeah. armor. Nobody oh, coming to save you. Yeah. I gotta save myself, yeah. right? Yeah. I, have to, yeah. I have to sip to that. Yeah. 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 Cheers to that, sure. Tracy Knight. I'm saving I me. Yes. I love it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I'm going to be I my own knight in shining armor. Fantastic. And from the time I realized that, I'm like, you gotta do what you gotta do. Nobody in the cavalry ain't coming. Yeah. You, right. you fix yourself, you do what you need to do. Mm -hmm to make you happy. And that's the ultimate goal, really, to be right. happy. Yeah. Exactly. At the, there are at two peace, things. Uh, yeah, peace. peace. And at peace. Said, at the end of the day, what I want the most is for my tombstone to read, she was a good mother to Addie. Yeah. Oh. It's not about my professional accolades or yeah. anything like that. Mm -hmm. I want to be, continue to be a good mother to Addie and to make sure that I have given him the best shot. Oh, yeah. that, that is so beautiful. That conviction is so beautiful, Tracy, honestly. Thank you. That, oh, my that gosh. Me, that. that touched me really deep. And I know there are lots of new mothers who are now starting the journey. Mm -hmm. And this knight in shining armor yes. must, have nice. some, <laughs> yes, must have some um, tips. tips and advice for them. Okay. First things first is it's accept as much as you can the diagnosis. It's not the end of the world. It's not a death sentence. Mm -hmm. It's the beginning of a beautiful journey. It's going to be overwhelming. You know, if you get your assessment, if you get a good assessment, they typically will say, well, these are the interventions that you should follow that will help. Okay. Start putting those in place as much as you can. And be open-minded, mm -hmm. very open-minded. One of the things that I was told early on was, Embrace creative stupidity. Who told me to do that? <laughs> so I'm a full goofy self mm -hmm. with your child. Enjoy it. Have yeah. fun. You right. know, you know, like when Ade was party training and so forth. Um, when he did go to party, it was like a big celebration. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! And to the point that, you know, when Ade does something great on his own, he says. Excellent. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Congratulations. I love it. I to do that, that. Exactly. actually. So, he says, good job. Oh, and yes. he doesn't wait for anybody Everybody. to affirm him. Yeah, as yeah. far as he's concerned, he's done this, and he's done it well, and it's excellent. Oh. So I'm just saying those are the moments that you will have. It's a different journey. It's, it's unique to you. Yes. Don't feel like it's all is lost. It's mm -hmm. all is not lost, mm -hmm. you know? But please, do something. Don't yeah. stay there and be like, don't don't, don't no don't start the pity party start mm -hmm. start the start the intervention the interventions mm -hmm. and that early window because that perfect baby is still a perfect baby yeah, perfect he's just perfectly different yeah, exactly exactly perfect so tracy know that you are you be, before we came on on sorry Ms. Adler, before we started our initial conversation you talked about preparing him for life skills his life skills know that he's in a different stage of his life. What's that like? What's that journey like? Well, I just, I'm trying to make him as independent as possible, mm -hmm. right? So, and COVID was a perfect opportunity for that. We were mm -hmm. both at home and, and so forth. So I started, he would have, he would already done basic things like make up his bed and so forth. So I started like helping him with being able to do basic dishes, cooking, um, yeah. He says he wants to be a chef, so oh, wow, fantastic. Fantastic. we're going to work on that. That's our new thing. That's our new adventure. He told me like last week, he's like, I want to, mommy. I said, Addy, what do you want to be when you grow? And I called off all these things and said, chef. I said, what does a chef do? Chef cooks in the kitchen. So, oh, <laughs> yeah. nice. Uh, nice. Plus, he's a foodie, so yeah. right. that's yeah. perfect for him. 
So basically in terms of being able to, you know, do his laundry, um, tidy up after himself, tidy up a room, he's not untidy. Mm. Uh, one thing about him, he's not an untidy child. Um, so that kind of thing is what I'm looking at, water the plants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, he knows some basic things around the home, like he can manage the security system. Wow. You know, that kind of thing mm -hmm. he, 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 can, he can do. Um, for, for school, he packs his lunch bag, he packs his school bag, he, he puts out his clothes, you know, he's very structured. So even in terms of breakfast, he tells me the night before what he wants for breakfast. And he goes, he puts out the utensils and the dry ingredients, he covers them down so that this short order cook. <laughs> That's what I am. When I get up in the mornings, I can make his, his meals. But I'm really going to have to push more on that because also things like being able to take the bus, going to town, make a purchase. Yes. Because he's, he loves the card machine, but I'm, I also have to make sure you know, that he has the money concept right. He yes. knows yes. the bills yes. and stuff like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. But how to make change and, and mm -hmm. things like that. So those are the kind of things that we are going to be working on over the next couple of years so that he can be, and he can live independently. And I think that's one of the things that, you know, when I saw that story in the paper, the couple, and I saw the comments, I was like, a lot of Barbadians seem to think that people living with who are differently able mm -hmm. cannot live independently. Right. Yes, yeah. exactly. Can live independently. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. may need some assistance in certain areas, but they're capable of independent yeah. living. And yeah. that's right. my next set of goal for added vocational training and independent living. Um, that's life where skills. We're, life skills. That's where we're at now. Mm -hmm. Great. Oh, Tracy, <laughs> yes. it has been a pleasure. You have brought us so much yes. joy with Thank your you. journey. Yes, Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Know, and you've taught us a lot. And I think the audience would really, or really appreciate your journey and what you've gone through and how you and Ade actually have gotten to this place. Yes. You know, yes, yes, yes. Um, some of the main points, no external validation mm -hmm. for self-care yes. and boundaries, no boundaries, right? Your self-care. Yes. And then with Faith. Ade. Right, faith, 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 courage, early intervention, early courage, intervention, yes, advocacy yes. for your child. Yes, yes. yes. and, and follow that mother's intuition. intuition. Yes. Don't yes. let anybody tell you different. And reach out for support. Yes. You'll be surprised the support you'll get. Yeah, it comes yeah. in a number of places mm -hmm. work, home, family. The support is there. Yeah. yeah, and you have to be positive about this yes. journey. Yes. Exactly. You know, yes. don't let the negativity that you may see online or have around you, mm -hmm. just cut it out, you yeah, know? Yeah. So that you two can have a positive journey. Mm -hmm. Tracy, thank you so much Thanks for, for having us. me. Thanks for having me. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. And thank you for joining us and look out for our next episode. And remember, stay safe and most of all, please stay, stay positive. positive. Take care. <laughs>